very warm welcome to Probiota 2018 here in Barcelona. We know that about 20% of adults suffer from sort of some form of GI stress. However, only 15% of them are actually doing something about it. So it's only about 3% of the adult population. 10 years ago, nobody knew they were deficient in vitamin D. And then it got into the popular press and sales of vitamin D skyrocketed. The same thing is happening with probiotics. I think there's a broad social trend towards healthier living. And 10 years ago, none of this would have been possible. There's so much probiotic research that is coming out. Here we can come to one central location to listen to the experts. Within that first thousand days, we have our set microbiota. This window is absolutely critical for getting it right. Can probiotics really alleviate symptoms of depression? Why would you look at exercise in the microbiome? Exercise seems to increase diversity and protein intake does similarly. You have scientists here, you have industry here, and you have the ones that produce the, the actual ingredients coming all together. I think that's amazing, bringing all this together at one time. EFSA wants to kill probiotics. I don't think that's true. I don't think EFSA doesn't have a political will to destroy probiotics, but also to save probiotics. That's, that's the key issue. If you're going to go for an EFSA probiotic claim, keep it simple and go for the obvious. We could hear about regulatory challenges, the market research that's coming out, as well as cutting-edge science. So it's been great to be here. The night out was fantastic. To be able to talk about work, but also get to know people, get to meet people, get to network, do it in a, a beautiful city, offers a lot of opportunities. I know by face now about 60 people I didn't know two days ago, and I've got business cards to sort out. It has been a success and I actually hope we will be back next year.